incredible people that deeply trust each other so quick and we are here to inspire each other. Yeah. So My, uh, my dentures, because you know? for a very long time I had not. You know, over the, the, the years I watch it um, uh, deteriorate her personality. You know, she um, became very um, 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 secluded. You know, from people. You know, she always was someone who loved to smile, loved to talk, and we watched her fall right up and became a woman of few words, you know. Um, um, also, it became very difficult for her to express herself. So it was almost like I was an interpreter for her. We're so, so appreciative of you guys coming here and making this possible. We couldn't have gotten this smile back without you guys. Yeah. We are grateful. My mother always taught me that charity begins at home. And, you know, you can look for things to do all over the world. There are so many things that need to be done. But I think a lot of times we might not be looking right in our own surroundings. It began with a friend who was in extreme pain. But then uh, Jonathan and Stacy Levine came to visit me. Uh, Jonathan had been my dentist for a while and we became friendly and I invited him down. So we jumped in this Jeep and as I saw people I would stop them. So we were having examinations on the roof. Jonathan had his loops and was looking. Uh, Stacy had a pad and a pen and the amount of decay, the amount of problems, the amount of pain the amount of folks with no teeth, the amount of folks with no education on basically how to deal with this. You know, I was talking to a woman yesterday, said she hasn't smiled in 10 years. She holds her smile back. She does not want to smile because she does not, she doesn't want to show, uh, you know, what's going on. Your daughter didn't want to have a wedding until you had your smile. She wouldn't want me to go because I love to smile, but I couldn't you smile with that lower thing in my mouth, dental in my mouth, because it wasn't suitable. It was embarrassing because I didn't want to go out in front of the people, and when I get dressed, and when I open my mouth to see that the little lower dental I had down in my mouth, the smile, I used to have to pin my mouth down to smile. Because I was I was going to tell her I cannot go. But I thank God for open the door and I thank you all. And I thank God for the one who designed my brace. I thank God for you. I thank you. Amazing creation. Thank 
Oh, that's fantastic. You. Amazing. <laughs> You know, we had three years off and COVID for everybody is like, what are we gonna do with this COVID? And we really said to ourselves, we're coming back. We're not sure if it's gonna be a year later, two mm -hmm. years later, now mm -hmm. it's three years later. Mm -hmm. We've had an opportunity to plan, to partner with Henry Schein. And what we've done every year is just to say to ourselves, how do we add services? And how do we add like-minded professionals and team to the group? And I, and I look at this, could we say, it's really magical because there's such a deep level of trust with everybody. We've been doing this, you know, every year up until COVID and now back again. And it's a great, it's a great experience. It's great to help the people here. They have, you know, no access. They wait a year to get a root canal, maybe sometimes two years, and they're in pain and they deal with it. And they find other ways. Patient this morning said they just put garlic on their tooth until it stops hurting, until we can get here. So it's it's a it, it's it's awesome. The experience, I would say, meeting these people that are so grateful to have what we feel back home is basic care that they don't have access to, and to provide them with that basic, what we would say basic preventative or standard care means so much to them and how grateful they are. And just the hugs they give us and the gratitude, the tears, it's really heartwarming. This has been so rewarding, I can't even start telling you. Uh, all the patients are so happy, they are so grateful. The amount of work that we're doing here is unbelievable, but everybody does it with joy passion and patients couldn't be more grateful really they are they tell us they hug us they they dance with us it's really unbelievable it has been a very rewarding and amazing experience it's the experience that i get to have meeting my friends and my colleagues that i've seen before and then giving back to a very small and unique population that has captured all of our hearts that emotional side of dentistry we're able to do here is really transformed, I think, our lives and our team's lives and really uh, empower, I think, the next generation to uh, understand the importance of oral and overall health. You get to really see love and you see how much people really love and care about each other down to the fact that like they want to see their moms or their grandparents or their kids have a healthy mouth, have a beautiful smile. It's important and it's pretty amazing. It's beautiful to see how much more efficiently we're working and how much faster we're working and we'll break records this year you know uh, as far as the amount of people that get treated and so much of that is because of Henry Schein and, and we are all extremely grateful uh, to have this assistance because the people can really work at a rate that's needed. Today because of the help of Henry Schein Cares, we now have entered the digital workflow dentistry days. And what I mean by that is we can scan the mouth, we can design on the computer, and then we could 3D print these dentures, and that's exactly what we're doing. So what took us just about a half a day, almost three quarters of a day for one denture, we could print six dentures in an hour and a half. Well, I look forward to being able to smile, to face the world, and to just simply feel like a female, a mother, and a grandmother all over again. I, in all honesty, already feel brand new, and it hasn't been completed as yet. You guys are gonna make me smile for the first time in over 10 years, which was very depressing because I just simply couldn't afford to pay to have this dental work done. I see that you're smiling. That's what you guys made happen for. It's been about 12 years. I was unable to do that. 
because my mouth was in bad shape and I couldn't afford to do it. And as a result of teamwork and dedication, you guys made it happen for me. And I can never finish saying thank you how much I appreciate it. And to know that you made someone that you don't know feel complete as a human. Though I've been practicing for 13 years, I finally found my purpose as a hygienist. Everything that I've learned, everything that I've done, um, treating patients, um, teaching students, it, it all tied in together. All of this tied in everything that, what I looked for in a career. I think it's given me purpose. Um, before my first mission here, um, I was going through a bit of a crisis with my profession because I treat, when you do cosmetic gen dentistry, you treat a lot of vanity. So sometimes you, you know, you're like, am I changing someone? Am I doing, so why am I doing this? You know, sometimes people, you change their smile, but it's, it doesn't mean that they'll become happy. You know, they'll still be unhappy. So I kind of lost a bit of that, of that drive in my profession and then the first year I came here it was like wow this is exactly why I'm into dentistry. The greatest satisfaction is serving the people and serving the people with people that you love and respect. I mean this is this is a circle that just keeps moving. It's a beautiful atmosphere and so I think the joy is all of that. We're having an amazing, amazing time doing what we should be doing. It's a blessing to, to serve and to have, a, to have a beautiful time while doing it with people that you love.